So how does someone investing in equity crowdfunding handle their finances? Mike DeMazzo here, your financial chief, helping you make sense of dollars. How You Money is a series of interviews where we explore people's financial journey. Let's go. What's up everybody? This is Brian from Crowdwise and this is How He Moneys. So I think I started in my financial journey, it goes back to when I was actually pretty young. So when I was maybe 12 or 13 years old, when a lot of kids for Christmas are asking for things like, you know, skateboards or dollhouses and toys and video games, I was actually asking for government savings bonds, which is probably the most nerdy thing you've ever heard. But uh, basically, you know, I did that because I think I realized at the time the value of deferring you know, for future potential gains. And so basically that delayed gratification, kicking the can down the road, but you can take money that you would have today, invest it and have a lot more money in the future. And I kind of just realized the value of that and I've been investing and interested in the finance space ever since. So my number one money hack is probably just around investing and making your money work harder for you. So it's this concept that I think is very familiar to a lot of people in the space that, you know, your dollars, once you save them and they accumulate over time, can work much harder than you can. Uh, your time is limited, you know, that can't infinitely scale, but if you have some money that kind of compounds over time and grows, then you can turn that into something that makes way more money than you ever could just working with your own hours. So I would say investing. So when I was getting started in the space, honestly, probably one of the first people kind of in the community that was my gateway into it was Triple M, so Mr. Money Mustache. I think he had some pretty radical ideas at the time in terms of, you know, just savings, both the savings rates and, you know, how you can cut expenses. Since then, it's really grown to not be any one particular person, but kind of the whole FIRE movement and basically all the different ideas about ways you can save, but then also ways that you want to spend and make sure that you're living your life and enjoying it. My thing that I choose to spend extravagantly on would definitely be travel. So I traveled the world for 13 months with my girlfriend, extremely you know, grateful for that opportunity, but it's something that we both have always had a passion for and really enjoy, and something that I will definitely continue to spend on in the future, just because you get experiences, you get these kind of lifetime you know, memories that you can take with you. It's not just something that you own and that you might eventually sell, so travel. I would probably say the best advice I ever received would have to do around diversification and not just thinking of it with a lens of investment though. So think of it in terms of your life, your career decisions, your uh, basically so many different things, right? You, you don't want to necessarily go all in on all these different areas and it shows the importance of when you diversify and kind of have a more of a collection of a basket of different things, you protect yourself from some of that downside risk should anything happen and kind of give yourself more of that opportunity to potential upside. So I've taken that mindset and tried to apply it to more things than just my investments, but my career, the projects, the hobbies that I work on on the side, um, my relationships with friends and family and that type of thing. So it's a good question. I don't know that I have any one particular person, I guess. I'm probably more interested in just kind of the whole space and the industry in general. So seeing where it's gone from say, you know, 10 years ago or when I started with Triple M to where it's evolved today to where it's gonna go in the future. Um, you know, you're starting to see more kind of sub niches within the area. And I think it's just gonna be real interesting to see five, 10 years from now, what the community looks like as a whole. So currently I'm creating a business called Crowdwise and my whole focus is around helping new investors who want to diversify a small portion of their portfolio into the private markets. So looking at startups. Traditionally this was not possible for non-accredited or non-Uber wealthy investors, but now as of 2016 the startup asset class is available and I truly believe that it can be helpful for people to diversify small portions of their portfolio. So I'm helping to train people coming over from the public markets of how to do that, how to screen deals, and that's why I'm starting Crowdwise. 
So for more information, the best place to find me is at crowdwise.org. And I'm also on all the socials, so whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube as well. Uh, YouTube's also a good spot. I have some a lot of free courses over there for Crowdwise Academy, which is great for anyone who's starting out just with the basics and foundations of you know investing in diversification all the way to the specifics of the equity crowdfunding and investing in startups. Wow, that was the last interview from FinCon 2019 with Brian. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this, make sure you hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below who you want in the next season of How You Money. Lastly, don't forget YouTube suggesting for you to watch this video up here. And don't forget, once again, my face right there and Grace, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great one. You guys are awesome.